I would describe my style as dominatrix Barbie. I love black, but I also love fun, girly colors. And let me show you what I have. So one of my first looks up is the Juicy tracksuit. And that's right, Juicy is making a comeback and I'm so excited that they have. We remember the original velour track suits that were really popular in the early 2000s. Now they're making a comeback and this was so much fun to wear. I paired this with a Louis Vuitton Speedy that is vintage, I believe it was 2007. And this was a really, really fun outfit and I love to wear this. All right, up next, I have one of my wedding dresses. This is a custom made Galia Lahav. So the vibe that I was going for, for this dress, was I wanted to do something that was very villain character vibes. So what I did is I created this really tight silhouette and the top where the bust is, I created a point. I wanted to give this Maleficent illusion. Also the dress is very fitted and on the sides, you'll see that it has sheer paneling that goes down the front and also down the butt, cause why not, you know? So this was my dress and I loved it. Um, the train, we did ostrich feathers in the front, which then gathered in the back. So I kind of just loaded across the dance floor. For me, my love of fashion started with my mom. My mom had a sewing machine and she taught me how to sew and make patterns and sketch designs. So since I was a little girl, it's what I love to do. So both of my dresses, I sketched them both out and it's just really cool to see them come to life. So yeah, kind of an artiste, like a hoey artiste, I guess you would say. <laughs> All right, so next up, I call this my Carrie in Paris. This is um, my Balenciaga gown that I wore when I was in Paris and Italy with my husband over the summer and this was a very carry moment for me. Every time I see the dress, it's just an instant reminder of where I was when I was wearing it. And this is a really special memory to me. So this is just a beautiful fitted velvet dress. And I did a red lip and curly hair with this. And it was stunning, it was timeless. I'll probably have this piece forever, but I love it. And I just wanna share it with you. All right, next up, we have this very, very heavy jacket that could double as weights, honestly. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is giving very Cruella. Again, I just killed my husband vibes. Are you guys noticing a theme? I don't know why I am, that's so weird. Anyway, um, so this beautiful faux fur Balenciaga jacket, I just love. I did a really fun, I remember it was before I cut my hair short, and I did a really cute Marilyn Monroe wig, and I think a red lip with this. And I remember sitting in my house and just feeling so beautiful and so rich, even though at the time it probably was not, but that's okay. <laughs> I spent it all on the jacket and it was well worth it. This is just a fun jacket that I'll definitely have forever. I mean, if this doesn't say Disney villain, I don't know what does. Ah, so fun. So next up, I have this really cool dress that I wore to an award show. And this is a really fun Balenciaga fitted racer dress. And the cool thing about this is all the checkers are actually different sizes and it gives this beautiful optical illusion when you wear it on your body. So as you can see the bust, it gives this illusion up here. It's more fitted at the waist and then the checkerboard gets bigger at the bottom. So it just really gives this beautiful fitted illusion on your body. And then I paired it with this Balenciaga magazine clutch, which was really, really cool, I loved. And then I remember for this look, I did my hair up in a bun with green elements in my hair. So this is a really fun look that we did and I liked matching the purse to the hair and that was the first time that I really did that and it was, it was really fun. So up next I have, I call this the classic Barbie dress. This is like you are going to meet your husband or your girlfriends or your fiance's parents. This is like, I am a good girl and my credit score is 850. This is exactly what I was going for when I bought this dress. So it's just beautiful knitted dress, but it just 
It gives me Charlotte from Sex and the City, just good girl in the best way possible. I brought this dress on vacation when I was with my husband and his parents. I was like, yes, I'm a good girl. <laughs> Not, but I just, I really, really love this dress and I think it goes with everything. You can put a blazer over it and dress it up. You can dress it down, you can wear it with tennis shoes. For me, this is just the staple good girl dress and this is exactly why I loved it. I love the ribbing and I love that it's super stretchy. It just can fit anyone. It looks good on anyone's body. And it's also very covered up, and, but still shows your figure. So I love that. So next up we have a tank top that someone made for me. And nothing says humble like a tank top with your own catchphrase on it. So this is super cute. Just says plain and simple, you can't afford my lawyers. <laughs> I did an interview um, with um, Alex Cooper on Call Her Daddy. And this is just what came out of my mouth. <laughs> and we made it into a little tank top that I thought was adorable. And you can tie it up in the front and it's, it's really cute. And I just like fun elements in my wardrobe like this. We get stuck in this world where we think everything needs to be designer and everything needs to be perfect, but it's fun to break it up with little pieces like this and t-shirts from fun, funky little vintage shops or Etsy shops. So this is kind of what I did. And if I were to wear this, I would pair it with um, stretchy leggings or leather pants and boots or even sneakers. This is really cute and I like to pick it up. I also have a few more tank tops that say, my budget is love, burgers and Botox, a lot of fun little <laughs> slogans and catchphrases along the way that I've procured through the years. All right, so I would say that there's an overall villain theme in everything that I do. And my sister is the one who actually started it. My sister is the first person in our family to get married in a black wedding dress. And she really inspired me. And I wanted to do that as well. When I started being on camera, I just noticed this, I don't know, this overall theme that started blossoming. And um, I just wanted to be black and feel powerful. After that, I kind of had a personality. When I would put these clothes on, I would feel like I could take over the world. I could do anything. I could I could be anyone and I loved that. So I would say that's where my character really started evolving. And there's two sides to me. You know, I'm very, very girly, but also like, I'll cut you. And I really like that for me. <laughs> but I feel like that's what clothes and that's what wardrobe can do. It gives you the confidence to be who you already are inside. And I love that. I'm able to put clothes on and feel like anyone and be anyone. And it really changes my confidence. And I know it's so silly. People are like, they're just clothes, but it's really a construct. And um, it's something that I've worked on over the years. And for me, it's, it's clothes. I'm able to feel a certain way and act like that bitch when I don't feel like that bitch. And for me, clothes are just everything. All right, I forgot. Before we leave, I, you can't go anywhere just yet. I have to talk about what I'm wearing. So I have this beautiful Valentino caftan that really just floats across the floor. And I would wear this um, in the kitchen, in my house, to the grocery store, really, uh, to the beach, anywhere, honestly. But I just, I think it's so beautiful and it just floats across the floor. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved my clothes and my pieces and the stories that I told along with them. And until next time, see you later.